Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. And today I'm so excited because today's video is a very special one. And by the title, you must have already guessed. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some amazing dupes of really hyped up high-end foundations. I have been giving you hints upon hints upon hints for a really long time and to be very honest, I have been working on this dupe video for such a long time and I have found so many dupes of so many really high-end hyped up products and when I was trying to film this video the other day it became way too long so i decided to break the video into some parts so in today's video i'm going to share with you some really amazing dupes drugstore dupes of really hyped up high-end foundations and in some cases i actually prefer the drugstore one more than their high-end counterpart because you know what who doesn't want to save money right i am all about drugstore i'm all about savings so if you are someone like me then this video is going to be really helpful for you and especially when you are getting the exact same result with a fraction of the price then why not right so yeah without further ado let's get started and you guys i finally have a mic right here a mic and a ring light and i am really really excited for that but i still have to figure out the actual lighting setup and everything so please give me some time so if the lighting setup is a little bit uh, please bear with me so let's just talk about the first product and this product is actually the very first high-end foundation that i have ever bought and i'm talking about this max studio fix foundation and i'm in the shade nc35 if you are from India and if you are a 90s baby, you must relate to me. Your first drugstore foundation is from Lakme and your first high-end foundation, this one right here. Please let me know if you agree with me. So yeah, it was my very first uh, high-end foundation and to be very honest, it, it retails for like 3000 rupees. So to be very honest, this is a heavy duty foundation and it is perfect for party makeup like engagement ceremony makeup or bridal makeup. It is really great for bri bridal makeup. But on a day to day basis, I do not prefer this foundation because you know, on a day to day basis, I want something very lighter and I want something um, that will give me a very natural looking face natural looking makeup but it is not something very natural looking it is a makeup which looks like makeup that's in a blabbering right so yeah let's just talk about the drugstore version of this mac foundation and to according to me an exact dupe of this mac studio fix foundation is this wet and wild photo focus foundation this is the original one not the dv one this is the original one the formula of these two is bang on it is pretty pretty similar i won't say similar according to me it's quite the same both are on the matte side they look quite matte on the face and both become a little bit cakey if you try to layer it up like one or two layer one layer is fine but two layers and more than that can make them look a bit cakey and they both look great in photography as well and for bridal makeup they according to me they are the exact same thing the only bummer is this wet and wild foundation smells like paint which i do not like other than that according to me they both are the exact same foundation it is like 3000 it is under 500 so it's your call i used uh, about two bottles of this mac foundation and then for some reason i just completely stopped buying it and when i was using this wet and wild foundation it reminded me of this mac foundation then i got it again and i compared them side by side and i was surprised because i was so right they both look same on my face they perform same on my face so yeah if you want to save some money then definitely go for the wet and wild one and i cannot show you demo in this video because i have so many foundations i cannot apply both of them on my face if you want me to compare uh, some dupes on my face side by side then let me know i'll be more than happy to make it for you so moving on the next foundation is again a very hyped up foundation and so many people talk about it for good reason because it is 
bomb degree trust me and i'm talking about this uh nurse long wear foundation natural radiant long wear foundation and i am in the shade valencia medium five right here again it's a beautiful foundation it looks really good on my skin it does not emphasize any texture it is really really a long wearing foundation and again it is a bit on the matte side it retails for 47 dollars here in the states i do not know how much it costs in india in rupees but here in states it costs 47 dollars which is pretty expensive now i have a spot on you for this nurse foundation and trust me it is when i say it is a spot on you i mean it it is really a spot on dupe and i'm talking about this l'oreal infallible pro matte foundation and i'm in the shade 107 fresh i have tried the shade 108 but the shade 107 matches me perfectly this l'oreal foundation is a spot on dupe for this nars foundation they both are matte they both are really really long wearing and perfect for oily skin type they both give you kind of full coverage which i absolutely love they are not cakey they are not heavy they are really really long lasting on my skin personally they perform exact the same and this is for our, around 700 rupees or so and 10 or i think 10 to 12 dollars here in the states so if you do not want to spend 47 bucks on this foundation definitely go for this l'oreal one trust me it is a spot on deal for this nars foundation the next foundation is my favorite and if you have been following me for a while you must know i have talked about it so many times here on my channel and i'm talking about this two faced born this way uh, oil free full coverage foundation and i'm in the shade sand over here what a foundation you guys if you ask me to throw away all my foundations and keep just one foundation i will probably keep this one this is this blends like magic and it gives you kind of full coverage it's a very very long lasting it does not settle on my smile lines it does not become heavy or cakey and it is very 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 lightweight the formula is really unique in this foundation and i i had a hard time finding a dew for this one i was thinking like it's one of its own kind and i will never ever be able to find a dew but i was so wrong i recently tried a foundation and i was amazed to see how similar those two are and i'm talking about this wet and wild dewy photofocus dewy foundation i i am in the shade desert beige i have done a full in-depth review of this particular foundation if you are interested i will link it down in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out these two foundations according to me at least on my skin they perform the same they are very lightweight they do not emphasize any texture they do not settle on my smile lines so if you want the same exact dewy look on your skin and if you do not want to spend 39 dollars definitely go for this wet and wild one and you will not be disappointed but there is one thing if you have really really oily skin then you may not like these two foundations but i have generally i have dry skin but in summer i have kind of normal to combo skin i enjoy these two foundations so yeah 39 dollars five dollars now it's your call the next foundation that i have here is this urban decay stay naked weightless liquid foundation and i have the shade 51wy with me here which is just a tad bit lighter than my skin tone just a tad bit but if i uh, use like bronzer and stuff it it looks quite okay one of my viewers muskan she actually asked me to review this foundation and for some reason i was not able to do it i'm really sorry muskan so here is a quick review of this foundation it is like a bomb foundation it looks so smooth on my skin it is very 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 long wearing it it photographs really well it does not emphasize any texture it is a bit on the matte side it's not like 100 percent matte but it gives you kind of demi matte finish which i absolutely love it is transfer proof it looks amazing on the skin whenever i wear this foundation for some reason my skin really looks fresh and my skin really looks like smooth now when i was using this foundation i knew i have used a similar 
formula in the past i knew that and when i compared them side by side i was so right i have a spot on you for this urban decay foundation dupe that i have here is this maybelline super stay full coverage foundation i have two shades actually the shade 310 and the shade 220 220 is again a tad bit lighter than my skin tone right now but 310 matches me perfectly I have again done a full in-depth review of this particular foundation. I will have it linked in the description bar, bar down below. So please go ahead and check that out. These two foundation, you guys, exact the same. This is again gives you quiet full coverage, demi matte finish. It's very, very long lasting and it makes my skin look really, really smooth. It does not emphasize any texture. It does not become heavy or cakey. In short, it just looks so good on my skin and it's really good for bridal makeup as well. It does not give any flashback and it is very, 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 very long lasting. Though I haven't tried it for 24 hours, but I have tried this foundation for like 10, 12 hours and I have tried this foundation as well for 10, 12 hours and they both they both perform the same on my skin so if you are not willing to spend like 39 dollars i think it's around 36 or 39 dollars i will have the purchase link and price and everything in the description but down below so please do check that out and this is for like 10 12 dollars so if you are not willing to spend that much of money go for the maybelline superstay one you will not be disappointed the only slight difference is the texture this um abanica foundation is a little bit on the liquidy side but this one is a little bit on the thicker side but on the face it looks quite the same the next foundation here i have is again a very hyped up high-end foundation and i'm talking about this abanica all nighter liquid foundation and i'm in the shade 7.0 which actually is a tad bit darker than my skin tone because this stuff does oxidize and when it oxidizes it becomes a tad bit darker than my skin tone i should have bought the shade 6.5 maybe i will purchase the shade 6.5 next anyway talking about the formula this is more on the matte side it's perfect for people with oily skin on me i have dry skin it st still looks really good it does not look cakey but if i layer it up it becomes a bit cakey other than that it's a great foundation it is very 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 long lasting i have traveled with this foundation and when I was in Ohio, I took this foundation with me and it used to last all day. That is probably the most amazing thing about this foundation. It is very, very, very long wearing and the coverage is also outstanding. It gives you full coverage. You do not even need a full pump. Like you just a half a pump will cover anything and everything for you. So the coverage is awesome. The longevity is amazing. Now recently I tried a foundation and I was like, oh my goodness, do I have a dupe at home? Yes, I do. And the foundation that I'm talking about is, is this NYX Can't Stop Own Stop Full Coverage Foundation. I have here the shade Classic Tan with me. It is a bang on, spot on due for this Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. It is again a very matte foundation, full coverage. It looks amazing on the skin. It is transfer proof and it is perfect for oily skin girls out there. And again, if you layer it up, it may become a bit cakey. And in this case, actually, I prefer the drugstore one over this high-end foundation yes i said it i prefer actually the nyx one more than this one and when i finish this one up probably i will not repurchase it this is actually an amazing alternative for this foundation so if you are not willing to spend like 42 dollars on a foundation that actually does oxidize then definitely go for this nyx one and you will not be disappointed again probably i will not repurchase this foundation when i finish it up but i will definitely repurchase this particular foundation the formula is amazing and this is probably the best nyx foundation i have ever tried and to be very honest i am a drugstore foundation type of a girl and this is probably one of the best drugstore foundations out there and that is a huge claim and trust me when i say so it is a great foundation great foundation and you will not be disappointed if you try this foundation 
last but definitely not least i have here another foundation that i reviewed for you recently and if you have watched that review you must know that it's my favorite one and i'm talking about this lorac pro soft focus long wearing foundation and i'm in the shade 10 medium if you are interested to, to see the review i will have it linked in the description but down below for you all what a foundation you guys the texture is very liquidy and you may think that it's a very liquidy foundation it will not give me that bang on full coverage but you are so wrong so wrong when i tried this foundation for the first time i was like oh my god you do not even need a full pump just a little bit of foundation and everything is covered it is very very full coverage but i don't know how they did it it looks so good on the skin it does not become cakey it is very very lightweight and it does not emphasize any texture when you first apply it it kind of gives you demi matte finish but after like half an hour or so it becomes completely matte and 100 percent transfer proof oh it is really 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 transfer proof proof foundation i actually wore this foundation with mask and it did not budge my when i took off my mask there was no residue of foundation left so you can imagine how transfer proof this foundation is and if you are a sweaty type of a person and foundation doesn't stick to your face definitely give it a shot you will not be disappointed it is a great foundation. it definitely gives me a very nice soft focus look to the skin when i apply it on my face it just blurs out everything as if i have I have used uh, some kind of filter. I don't know how they did it. It is a, such a great foundation. But I have, I won't say it's the spot on you, but according to me, it's like 90% similar. And I'm talking about this NYX Total Control Drop Foundation and I have in the shade Classic Tan with me. It also gives you full coverage. If you build it up, it becomes definitely full coverage and it is 100% transfer proof. At the same time, it gives you kind of demi matte finish and after some time, it becomes totally matte. If you have tried this foundation, you must relate to what I'm talking about. These two foundations, they blend quite well, they look quite well, they last for about 10 to 12 hours without budging so when i was using this lorac foundation i think i mentioned it in the, the review video as well when i was using this lorac foundation for the first time it it instantly reminded me of this nyx total control drop foundation and when i tested them side by side i was surprised because they look quite the same they perform quite the same the only difference is this nyx foundation is a little more on the watery side but this one is it is still liquidy but it is still a bit on the thicker side that is the only difference between these two foundation other than that they look quite the same on the skin and the lorac foundation does oxidize and it does oxidize almost immediately so it is like another bomber of this foundation but this next one it does not oxidize at all and it retails for around 14 dollars or so and this uh, lorac one is around 39 dollars Again, if you do not want to spend $39 on a foundation, then definitely go for this NYX one. And though it is a very small bottle, trust me, a little bit goes a long way with this foundation. It is very, very, very pigmented. You just need one full drop and you, you are done. You are done. You do not need more. So this foundation, I have bought it, but I have not been able to finish even half of the bottle. Like I still have so much foundation left in this bottle and it will last me one more summer. So <laughs> that speaks a lot. So yeah, with that I finished this video here and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope you guys have found this video helpful. I hope so. And if you have tried any of these high-end foundations, then I encourage you to try the drugstore counterpart of these foundations and let me know your thoughts. You know what you are not breaking your bank these are very really affordable options so if you are interested in trying any of them then please let me know in the comment section down below and i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i hope this video was helpful for you if you did then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends and family if you like my content it will mean a lot to me and it will just keep me motivated you know so please 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 share this video with your friends and family so
so yeah if you are not following me on instagram then please join my insta fam i upload insta stories uh, igtv videos makeup tutorials and stuff there so please do follow me on instagram and all my social media links will be given in the description but down below so if you are interested then please do check that out so yes yeah, see you soon in my next one till then bye and take care bye